And welcome back to some more in Shroud. Right, the update is right around the corner. By the time that this video releases, it will probably be out by tomorrow. Maybe. We will see. Now, as you can see, my forest has grown a little bit. But the forest that I'm making over here has yet to fully grow. Now, I do wonder if that is because... Hmm, who knows? Well, it's going to continue to grow. Now, one thing that I have done, uh, a little bit at least, is that I've finished up the wall. So now it is complete. I've also attempted to do some, I would say, pixel art, maybe. Right now it's just random. It looks great uh, during the night that it does. But yeah, the plan is to just uh, fill in the entire thing, a little bit of string action all around. I'm not really trying to make anything. It looks like an arrow, maybe. Maybe you see something different, but meh. So we are gaining some progress when it comes to this thing. Now there's also this entire mountain that I need to do something with. And again, we will just see. Because it's, uh, it's looking like something that it is. I'm also thinking that maybe I'm going to build like a big square just to have a visualization of how big a max altar actually is. Again, with the update, there might be some more stuff that we can level up. Who knows? Speaking about the next update, now this is going to be, I'm not sure if it is spoilers, but the achievements are out. So I kind of want to... Right, if we go big picture mode, Actually, let's uh, decrease the size of me by a little. Let's place me right over here. Yes. Now, now I have all of the achievements. So if we just continue to scroll down, here we can see where the zero percent are. So climbing to the new heights again, gaining level 30 and then gaining level 35, reaching the top. And that's amazing. Yes. Ten more levels. That is obviously something. No, Albaniva summits weeding. Albaniva, so that is the mountain. But yeah, the the weeding achievements is to, you know, chop down all of the shroud roots, so we're gonna get even more skill points and some mage balls. Albaniva summits Stargazer. Uh let's see, Stargazer, yeah, that is to unlock the ancient spire of Albaniva, I presume. So we're gonna get at least one of those. I'm I'm not sure how big the mountain's gonna be. Maybe we get even more than one? Probably just one. Right. Mole of the Albaniva Summits. That's to gather up all of the ores and materials. At least the ores, I think. So we're probably going to get something like obsidian and silver, since we already have that in the game. Or we had. It's no longer available. They even removed it from my inventory. Those sneaky little biscuits. Uh, let's see. Albaniva Summit Secret Keeper. That is to unlock all of the obelisks. Hmm. Now, there's probably going to be a few of those. That's going to be interesting. Spark of the Albaniva Summits to unlock all of the flame shrines. Sure. And King of the Mountain. Now, the achievements that look like this is obviously uh, a boss achievement. Now, this doesn't look like the, the Cyclops. It very much looks like a dragon. So we're probably going to get a mountain dragon. Now, that's going to be fun. Ice dragon? Probably. Maybe a fire dragon. Maybe an ice fire dragon. Yes. But one thing that I also did want to look at a little bit is that, like, there's 5% of people that didn't reach level 2, which, well, there's probably people who didn't like the game, just tried it out, maybe refunded it, there's a chance. Craft an item, 10% that didn't. Craft an item, that's really weird, that's extremely weird. Uh, create a flame altar, almost 25%. I mean, some, some, something weird is definitely going on. Now, if we scroll all the way down, I didn't realize how rare it actually was. Like, just 1.2% of people have unlocked all the flame shrines in Nomad Highlands, Kindle Waste, a little bit more in the Rebel Wood, uh, and a tiny bit more at the Springlands. Now, I'm gonna confess, these were the last achievements that I got in the game, because I had forgotten, like, three or four, maybe. Find all the Forgotten Guard of the North's armor pieces. Now, this is a little bit weird because this is a quest to get the North, North Guard armor. You just basically get pointed to the direction. It's it's strange, I must say. And this forest looks 
very good, I think. I do want to do this kind of thing somewhere around in the base. Now, let's see, if we just uh, jump up a little bit like usual, I said jump up like usual, actually, I think I can go like this, and then like so, and then like a show, and then, hey, come on then, here we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, look at the Revelwood red leaves or brown leaves or whatever they were called. From the top, they look amazing. Yeah, I definitely need a section of the map that is just covered in trees, which could be this area. Now, the base is really shaping up. Yes, I must say. Now, as for the big wall, one thing that I've also contemplated is maybe I do want to make uh, a elixir well, because now I do have the real estate at least downwards. So I could build something at the top and then maybe, maybe, just maybe, we, we will see. At least now it's just a big wall. Actually, let's uh, take a little bit of a vantage point in the sky home. Teleport right over here, jump over here. Now let's see, how does it look from... Oh, you can even see the glow from all the way over here. <laughs> oh, that looks amazing. Let's see, let's have a closer look. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously not totally rendered, but... Yeah, it looks like something. It looks like a big castle. If I was going all over here to see where I wanted to go, I would see that and... Ooh, that looks interesting. Very interesting. Looks like a town. Hmm, yeah, I do wonder, I do wonder. But again, we don't have to wait long. Oh, they are so fast with updates. Incredibly fast. Yes. Hmm, yeah, I mean, the UI isn't too intrusive, I think. I wish that I could disable some of it, like I don't need to know where north and south and everything is all the time, and also I don't want to see my uh, health or my mana when it's full. Oh, talking about that, yeah, something that I really wish was in the game is a first-person mode, especially now that I'm building a little bit of more finer detail, just a way to zoom in further than this. Something like, let's see, can I, let's see, if I, yeah, if I went into first person, it would be something like this, yes, so that I could at least look at the details, even zoom in a little bit, would be something. I mean, I'm not saying that I want something like uh, first person in combat, even though this kind of works-ish. I have a sword over there, a little bit of swing and swing. Oh, hang on, did I just break something? I think I just broke something. Wasn't there a barrel? Oh no, here's the barrel. Uh, right, but at least for building, that would definitely be something. Most definitely, yes. Now, there's probably already someone on the forum that has posted about this, but you may have So we're most likely going to see another dragon. Hopefully it's something big. Like, I do, I do enjoy smaller bosses. Those are very fun that they are, but I want something enormous. Like, hopefully twice the size of the Felwyvern, at least. If not ten times. <laughs> oh, that would definitely be something. Uh, but we will see. Now, that thing, hmm, I don't think that's going to be the ancient spire. Although, if it is, it's going to be very easy to just fly from the tippy tops all, all around. But again, I think they're going to, they probably reworked everything around there. I don't think that this is what we're going to get. Now, where could the entrance be? Now, according to the lore, it could be down there. But are they going to move the mountains further this way? Are we going to get like a swamp area over here that then leads to the mountain? Hmm. I'm speculating a lot, and we will know the answer, well, again, by the time that this video is out, probably by tomorrow. Now, it also does look like the Cyclops is basically a mini-boss. I'm not sure. According to the video, when they killed the boss, it dropped two of the VUCA Brawler trophies and one Cyclops trophy, which I find interesting. But it also does look like the Cyclops could be a part of, like, the scavenger faction. Maybe. Maybe just maybe. So we will see. I mean, according to the lore, uh, the Cyclops tried to invade the southern border through that bridge, and one ended up in the hollow halls and then became hollow. Again, not entirely sure how accurate my memory is of the lore, <laughs> since I am getting old, but hmm, right. Now, I think since my daughter is asleep and I don't really have too much going on right now, I mean, 
right now it is Halloween, so at any moment there could be some, you know, some children <laughs> ringing the doorbell, the doorbell, awaking my daughter and asking for candy. Now I do have the candy bowl ready, but yeah, I'm not sure if my daughter, <laughs> how she would react to uh, spooky people ringing the doorbell. Oh, hang on a minute, I'm missing a few pointers. Oh, look at that. Oh, no flaws in the system. Actually, there are the three spaces. You say what new? I mean, it's not visual, uh, vis visible from the outside. But yeah, I do also have this entire area that I could build pretty much whatever in. And it doesn't need to look good from, like, the inside. Like, from here, I could just basically build a big basement. And again, I'm kind of thinking, maybe, maybe an elixir well. Not sure why I'm... Yeah, I just kind of want to have an elixir well in my base, for whatever reason. I wonder, can I can't plant these type of uh, trees, can I? Ooh, those would be great for, like, the Halloween... Eh? Excuse me? Say what now? I was out of bounds, eh? Hang on, is this the part I was born from? Wasn't I born from this part? Are there parts that are missing? Hmm. Now, one thing I do wonder is, is there any chance, any chance at all, that they have added Excalibur <laughs> to the mountain update? Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. I know that King Games has watched at least one of my videos, so mm, there's a possibility. Right. Oh, I already forgot I made a pallet a couple of days ago. Yeah, we're probably gonna get a few more building blocks too. Ooh, that is fantastic. Hmm, hum, 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 Oh, I'm just excited. I can't hold my excitement. Yeah, but anyhow, I think that we are just gonna end it here so that I can continue to build a little bit in peace and probably hand out some candy. We will see. Anyhow, happy Halloween, even though it's not Halloween by the time that uh, this video releases. And by tomorrow, we will have the update. Ooh, biscuit. That's gonna be, that's gonna be something. I am very excited, if you can tell already. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Right. But anyhow, I think that I'm gonna say, as always, until next time.